Hello everybody, it is I, Simple Dan. I just, this is kind of a breaking story. I just heard about this. Um, I was listening to talk radio all night. As you guys know, I worked the night shift. I just got off duty here. So a little before 7 o'clock uh, Texas time. And I heard about a judge. I'm going to read uh, some excerpts from this, um, from this article. A judge in Lubbock, Texas. It says here, Lubbock County Judge Tom Head and Commissioner Mark Heinrich went into a great detail on Monday night on uh, Fox News 34 at 9 about why it's necessary to raise the tax by 1.7 cents in the next fiscal year. Okay, now, I'm not for raising taxes of any kind. I believe that in any budget, on any level of government, any layer of government, the, the money already exists. You just need to allocate it properly. Okay, and across the board, pay increase is needed for the attorneys and the DA staff to keep them from being uh, poached by higher paying counties. And the sheriff needs to expand his staff by seven deputies, reduce call response times, minimize officer fatigue, and reduce the turnaround. Here's the thing. <clears throat> this does, on the surface, doesn't sound like, it sounds like the regular goings-on of, of a county, a, a county government. But here's what Thomas Head said. He said, he said that he's also going to need police officers, extra officers, to help uh, because he believes that uh, if Obama gets elected, there's going to be a civil war inside the United States. And it says, um, quote, he is going to try and hand over the sovereignty of the United States to the UN. And what is going to happen when that happens? Thomas Head asked, asked, asked. I'm thinking the worst. A quote, again, he, he continues on. I'm thinking the worst. Civil unrest, civil disobedience, civil war maybe. And we're not just talking a few riots here and there. We're talking Lexington, Concord, take up arms and get rid of the guy. Now, what's going to happen if we do that? The public decides to do that. He's going to send in UN troops. I don't want him in Lubbock County, okay? So I'm going to stand in front of the armored personnel carrier and say you're not coming in here. He says, and the sheriff, I've already asked him. I said, you going to back me? He said, yeah, I'll back you. Well, I don't want a bunch of rookies back there. I want well-trained, equipped, seasoned veteran officers backing me. Okay, now this may sound a little extreme. And it says, whether you agree with the judge or think his theories are unrealistic, this reality tax hike will provide an initial 800 and... 32,433 uh, coupled with 2 million in cuts to make the make the numbers work. So he's that okay, so he, in addition to the tag, he's actually going to trim some from another budget and reallocate the funds. Uh, it sounds to me <clears throat> like when um, the the 13 colonies originally voted to to levy money or reallocate money towards raising a continental army and to hear him talk like this sounds pretty extreme. I'm going to put a link down below so you guys can take a look at it. Maybe he's just trying to raise paranoia to, uh, you know, play on people's fears just to justify the tax hike. And again, like I said, I think the money is probably already there. He just needs to allocate it. As a county judge, he's got some sway in, on how money is spent and whatever. And I, I think this is county judge. I'm not sure if he's a judge like a guy sitting on a bench or if he's typically... The county government is arranged in a council of judges, which is basically like your city councilman or an alderman. Um, that that's the way it is here in Bear County. The the county representatives, the elected representatives, are called judges. Um, so I don't know if that if he's an actual judge, judge like a magistrate, or uh, you know, or or what. But he's talking pretty extreme here, and he believes that uh, Barack Obama will call in U.S. troops if elected again, if things get bad enough here, if the discontentment here in the United States gets bad enough. And I believe that it's possible that it will, and, and maybe he's right, but I don't know, I'm kind of, okay, you're talking my language over here, and then you want to raise taxes, no, no, I don't, I don't really care for that, you know, so, I personally think that, you know, being a smaller Texas town, there's, you're not going to really need any deputies, per se, um, the people can take care of themselves, um, they have their own guns, and their own ammo, and their own supplies, and just, uh, you know, if you want to reallocate some money to the sheriff's department, do so via illegal proceedings like um, you know meet budgetary meetings and stuff like that reallocate the money that way do not raise taxes that's just it goes against everything I'm, I'm about I'm, I'm a low taxes small government guy so I don't know you, you just decide for yourself just kinda the link is down there and uh, I don't know you guys be the judge